you would find that this thing that future intentions could, could you, I'm sure you have you are a connoisseur of English. You hear run with the hair and then hunt with the hounds, right? Yes. Run with the hair and then hunt with the hounds. It's going to create a lot of double standards. What are you saying? If you want to see the double standards and understand very well in Parliament, the decision is saying there's no break in allegiance. You just look at it this way if you want to understand it more practically. So as up in your marching today, majority leader files his papers that he in the twenty in this twenty twenty four elections, he wants to go to parliament next in the ninth parliament on the ticket of the NDC. And you say he can go to President Kufuado to ha- hold any more discussions as majority leader or even as an MPP MP are to force him files that he he wants to be MPP in January uh, 2025. So that's in the ninth parliament. And I think your mama will open his doors to meet Atu Forsen. No, what are you talking about? And that when they have caucus meetings, these persons can come in and go out anyhow. Have we looked at that? Look, I'm saying that the basic problem we are confronted with is that we didn't write the law well. Let's accept that. And we can redraft after all, we all agree now that this constitution is our biggest headache. It's actually the cause of our underdevelopment because it has weakened all institutions, most especially when you get very bad leaders like Ekufuado. I know the rest haven't been too, uh, that much too better than him, but Ekufuado's badness, permit me to use badness, you know the English language is dynamic. Maybe in a few <laughs> years from now, not we'll that, accept Not that, that dynamic, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, but we know that Ekufuado's level of poor governance is at a, 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 this end, a dizzying height, a height, dizzying height. We've never seen that height. Good. So, with that, you would see that we all agree that we need to work on this constitution. It has so many problems. So, we'll simply add this one and say, let's redraft. Fortunately for us, it's less than two months one election. So why do we have to give an esoteric interpretation? Because, look, I've told you, Kojo, they've been, we've been writing in several Supreme Court decisions, but let's be careful. A law that is undesirable, we don't like it because we didn't write well, should not be confused for an unconstitutional law. Let's be very careful. This 97-1 GNH, everybody reading it has understood it, that this is what it just means. Is this current parliament straight? So if you go and give an interpretation, the person has switched camps while this this parliament is still running. So the seat is gone. They forfeit the seat. Don't go and give me that that feeling of forms relates to a future thing. Ah, And this is not the first time. That's why even in the law of contracts, there is an area we call contracts in restraint of trade. So depending on the kind of sensitive information you are giving, Often, your, your contract of employment will come with a clause that if you resign today, you cannot go and start working for a competitor tomorrow. There's what we call garden leave. You stay home for six months, one year. But generally, the, more you, the, the, the longer the years, then the more the court is likely to strike it down. So if you go and put two years, three years, no. Uh-huh, those ones, no. But generally, six months, one year, you find courts upholding the provisions. But yes, because of the kind of sensitive information you have. So can you imagine, like I said, majority leader, Apenyo uh, uh, Martin, how many times he's met a Kufuado, how they strategize to move forward. Then the next day, Apenyo files his papers that he wants to be NDC in the ninth parliament. And you are saying that President Kufuado should continue to entertain Apenyo Martin. Ah, what kind of law is this? Hmm. Hey, what kind of law is it? It's dangerous. So secrets and trade secrets and all those things have value. They have value. So there are laws that are made to protect them. So me, right. I see clearly that this constitution also had that in mind. That look, trade secrets, etc. have value. Let's maintain them. So if you, if you say you've left a party, please, you've left. Look, these MPs are not the only talented people. There are other talented people. What do we lose? What do we lose? It's, uh, it's not as if these MPs have a certain special training that 
they alone can do that work in parliament. So they should be giving that leeway to the uh, this uh, crossing carpet. No, please. So me, there's no the Supreme Court has not persuaded me. The majority right. decision does not persuade me. Right. That's why I said right. what this decision reinforces is that we need to reform the constitution. The Chief Justice herself has said it that she's not happy that presidents have a role in the discipline of judges. She's not happy that the judiciary uh, are controlled by the executive through the release of money, etc. I congratulate her for being open. So let's all be very open. The judiciary is controlled by the executive. Look, I would say so. We will not hide it. If we don't say it openly, this democracy will not grow. So we want to reform the constitution. The president should not have a hand in it. Article 144 must go. A judicial council must be independent. The president should not have four appointees directly and then indirect uh, appointees like the advocate general, the one from the armed forces. The president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. So I think when the representative from the armed forces come to the judicial council, he'll be saying something that the president doesn't like. He'll be looking to see what does the president want. My commander-in-chief, please, I want to go with him. Even in the military, there's politics. They will tell you face fine, okay, or eye service. After a certain level, to get further promotion is political uh, patronage. In the military, could you? And I'm sure you know it. So everywhere, politics is destroying us. So let's redraft a constitution that will break the executive. Because, like I've said, currently, you get the executive, buy one, get one free. You become executive president, you buy it through campaign, etc. And then you get to control the judiciary. That is concentration okay. of powers.